So Jordan Peterson, the great thinker. The great thinker. So campaign and, so re campaign and research. <laughs> has Matt Reif on, who is being canceled. He's being canceled <laughs> for being a comedian. My God, that, com comedians being canceled? No, how could this happen? How is he being canceled when the special is on Netflix, the biggest platform? It's just lost all. <laughs> the canceling thing is just, it just means yeah, people yeah. were mad at you. Yeah. People were criticizing you. That's all it means now. It's quite something. Right. Who cares what you believe? Anyway, here, here's <laughs> Jordan sucking off Matt Rife for being brave. It's a modern twist on an old joke, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was a real circumstance that happened, an exaggerated yeah. instance that really happened, and I went, you know, this is this is a classic joke. Why not give my own personal modern twist on it and move on? The joke's like a minute yeah, and 30 yeah, seconds, yeah, and yeah. people were like, all he did was bash women. And I purposely did it first in the show to go, hey, just so you know, this is this is the kind of humor I like to tell. And if it's not for you, you are so more than welcome to turn off the TV right now. Yeah, okay. Dude, is this the most pretentious watching <laughs> show ever? Master class with Jordan oh Peterson. Ew. The master. Crazy, huh? Grace professor. Hello, everyone. Oh. I had the opportunity today to welcome and speak with one of the world's most yeah. outstanding current comedians. Yes. Young guy, 28 years old, Matt Reif, who's exploded onto the comedy scene in the last few years. Right. After. Having ah, put his time in the trenches, <laughs> he's been working as a comedian in small clubs and so forth. He started when he was 15, so he put in his 10 years before really becoming popular. He's been the subject of a relatively dedicated cancel campaign in recent weeks, and so we had a chance to discuss that, to discuss his witty, fast, witty, brave, brave, and uh, appropriate response to that cancellation, to wow. talk about that sort of thing. Yeah, it was so appropriate. <laughs> Matt Reif is so In more brave. detail. <laughs> he is the bravest. Some, some say the bravest. Yeah, some would. I would. Your and also to detail out um, his, the, the structure of his new tour and his <coughs> plans for the future. All right, stop glazing the broader, him up, bro. I've been planning this. this opening, which I don't usually do because I like to do things spontaneously, but, but I, ha I have to get this one right. Okay, so you gotta help me get this straight. Okay. Okay, so now you're a comedian and you got canceled for a domestic assault <laughs> joke. And then in response to that, instead of apologizing like a good boy, you put up a joke ad site about special needs helmets to protect the people who are you offended by him. you. And now- Got him. To get yourself out of trouble, you're going to come on my podcast. I never That's said that. true. That that actually is a, a fairly good point. <laughs> Your plan. I, I, would, I don't know if he understands the the context of coming on here or what. I was hoping it would make things way worse. I'm hoping yeah. we can drive sales to that very real website about the helmets. Yes. Anyways, congratulations Thank on that. You very I thought much. I thought the joke was funny, Thank risky. You. And funny, and I thought your response was dead on. Like one of the things I've noticed, dude, the way that he goes, it's just a twist on an old timey joke mm -hmm. that I wanted to put my own spin on. It was, it was like, if she uh, could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. Right. What's the twist? I mean, it's just not funny. That's all. Yeah. It's it was the hacky. most simplistic joke, laughing at a woman who was hit by yeah, her partner. A, a horrible, uh, and by the way, the joke is the... <laughs> it was not good. It was not Zero a good joke. irony. I don't know if Zero. I'm like not up to date, but what is the cancellation campaign included so far? I wish they would say. Just people being upset? Yeah, that's it. Because I mean, that's also free speech. Just like him telling his mm, joke. True. Well, What's the his, like you said, he's still on Netflix. Um, I can't, I don't think he's been blacklisted anywhere or anything yeah. like that that I've heard. That people who are harassed by sensorial minded null wits <laughs> almost always back down and apologize. Mm. And then my, my sense of that is that a mob comes after them first for whatever hypothetical sin they've committed. Never apologize. It's the conservative way. Never admit you're wrong. Never change. If you change, you're a hypocrite. Don't ever change your mind, bucko. <laughs> or you'll expose yourself. And then they apologize. I believe the same things I did as when I was 15. That's consistency. 
Yes. Guys, and the second mob comes after them for that. Exactly. And then they lessen their own character by, by the, the way, false and apology. Jordan and they... not let him say shit. He just won't shut the fuck up. And some, fuck you. Some master you class. Like they embolden these idiot accusers. And so why did you decide, when, when this blew up around you, mm -hmm. and I mean in some ways it's a tempest in a teapot, but when this blew I never heard that before. It's a tempest in a teapot. I like that. What is that? Does that mean? A tempest is a giant storm. I know what a tempest is, but what is tempest in a teapot? It's too much in a in a. Because it could be that it's like maybe it's very personal. No, it just means it's blown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. or but it's just in a teapot. He's downplaying it essentially. The tempest in a teapot is also phrased as storm in a teacup or tempest in the teacup, an idiom meaning a small event that has been exaggerated out of proportion. Really? That's my blowing. Like, because the tempest in the teacup, it, it does not endanger anybody. There's not enough liquid in it to do any significant damage. Right, yes. So, like, you know, how bad could a tempest in a teapot or teacup, as it were, be? Dude. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Blew up around you, blew up around you. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in some <coughs> ways, it's a tempest in a teapot. But when this yes. blew up around you, why did you decide to take the strategy that you took? Why weren't you like racked with guilt and apologetic and... Why weren't you being a little bitch? Yeah. <laughs> because it's just comedy. I'm just doing what's funny to me. It's never... But then like, can't you just say people are, and people are just reacting to how they react? You know, like right. we're all just doing our human shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so like by the same logic, you want people to leave you alone because you're just doing comedy, and you're just being you, and that's fine. But then you also have to appreciate that people are going to get mad, and they're just going to do their thing too. People are going to people. Yeah. And I'm right. sure he knew that joke is going to be on the right on the line of like you know, okay, that, not okay. Yeah. I'm sure he knew that. So. Oh yeah, I mean, because he followed it up with, "I'm just seeing how fun you guys are tonight." Yeah. yeah. For any deeper than that, nor should it be for anybody. I'm saying things that my imagination drums up that makes me happy, release endorphins in my head that makes my life happier, and all I do is share those thoughts with other people in hopes that it makes their life easier. Comedians are so fucking important. I mean, I just can't get over the the genre of comedians. They are basically the Aristotle, the Plato <laughs> yeah. of today. No, I they, just do it for the people. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Who's that one uh, Roman emperor who everybody loves, uh, who wrote ref Reflections? Is it Augustus? Or... Who wrote Reflections? You're thinking of Marcus Aurelius? Yeah, Mar oh, Marcus yeah, Aurelius, yeah. dude. They are the, the modern day fucking vanguard, <laughs> and we should all bow. Actually, if you see a stand-up comedian coming down the street, it is your obligation to bend the knee and <laughs> lower your head in reverence for these great men. All right. What rules, you sons of bitches? What rules? Well, I mean, I've been watching what you do on your specials, and you, you're continually interacting with the audience, which, and mm. correct me if I've got this wrong, I mean, a lot of the comedians that I've spoken to, they it. spend a lot of time preparing their sets mm. and practicing, but you're doing... It's, it's, it seems to be something that's much more akin to spontaneous wit. Is he just isn't talking about typical? crowd work? Yeah. yeah, isn't that typical comedian? That's literally called crowd work. Like, not... <laughs> every comedian does it. And and by the way, he, his his special was not crowd work. It was all rehearsed uh, and written. It wasn't like, you know. Off the dome. No, it's of course not. not. Not at all. And that's a dangerous thing to do because you could easily be not funny. Oh, and, high risk, high reward. Yeah. yeah, well, and it's also that because you're doing that, you don't have a lot of time to exactly think through what mm. you're going to say, right? I mean, if yeah. something strikes you as amusing, <coughs> you pretty much have to go for it. And well, not, for, if not for a Netflix special. Comedians will practice that a whole year long right. before they shoot their special. That's the whole point of the special. Yeah. And the joke you got canceled for was not crowd work. And None I of it mean, was. Again, Nothing right. Netflix was. let it air, so he didn't get canceled. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And now he's on a podcast with 1.3 million views. Yeah. The thing is, he's being silenced. I don't. I don't Cancellation. think. Cancellation. 
I don't think it's a big deal. I don't. I don't. I just. It's a dumb joke. It's stupid. It's hacky. I don't care about it. I don't really care much. about it. It's just like. Eh. All I know is that I put it on and I turn it off after five minutes. Mm. I was just like. Because eh. the thing is, his shtick was different. And then he put does the special and he's like, "Hey, I'm a Joe Rogan comedian now, boy. Mm. Hey." I kind of feel like he thinks that everyone saw that and they were like, what a damaging, damaging joke. It's like, we watched it and we thought, oh, this guy isn't, f like yeah. I thought he was maybe it's funny. funny, he's yeah. not though. Yeah. But yeah. That's yeah. what it was. That's what it was for there, me too. There was a lot of the dialogue was just people being like, oh shit, he's not actually funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because if you're just cutting crowd work from your hours and hours of on set, uh, on stage and posting those, those W moments to TikTok, Right. It's a big difference than getting in front of a camera for an hour straight. And that's really trying to prove your worth there as a stand-up comedian. Like, but, that was a written joke. Right. But in the end, was it... was? I wonder how much of this whole narrative was built up by these people who are, like, um, running to to put their jacket over the puddle for him, or I don't know. Like... These conservatives on Daily Wire who every time anyone mm -hmm. gets mad at anything, they, cry about they have to fucking, yeah, they have to throw yeah. themselves at their feet. So I, I do wonder how much was like actual, like people being mad and how much was I, it like sh this kind of shit may amplify it. I, I think I can was, guess. <coughs> if it was really a problem, then you would see like Netflix removing it or something. I don't know. Mm. Clearly not on that level. Yeah. If your head's full of censorship related thoughts, you're going to be not funny in about 15 seconds. So you have to let the intrusive thoughts win in comedy. You have to. What so that's my that's where I took cross with. I was listening. I was like, that had not been good advice for me, brother. <laughs> that is, in fact, the only reason pretty much in the past five years that I've ever gotten fucking canceled or whatever. Canceled. <laughs> well, uh, let me tell won. you about the Lost. button. Yeah. Child. <laughs> yeah, this this is my intrusive thought net. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, but no, I don't. I actually don't even believe that's true. Like, I mean, yeah, you need to filter it out. You need to refine it a little bit, there, buddy. You need a button. You need a button, Bucko. I really what comes if you're a naturally podcast. funny person, the first thing that comes to your mind should be the funniest thing to you most of the time. Right, it can right. And it has to be the first thing. Yeah, you Shorty know, if you're... Shut the fuck. You're <laughs> such a bad interviewer. <laughs> like, I get that every you think everybody <laughs> wants to sit and listen to every word you have to say. But when you have guests, Jordan, you have to let them fucking talk. It's not about you, man. So <laughs> ridiculous. If you're writing a multiple choice like, test... Like, if you could do... If you could catalog of this five minutes how much time... Jordan spent talking versus Matt. Yeah, it's, it's got to be like 95% Jordan. <laughs> it's a lot so far. Dude. By the uh, way, you if you second guess your your what your intuition about centered. I mean, you can even tell I think that Matt's getting a little weirded out by how much he's like just listening to Jordan. It's like you invite me on your show to listen to you? Like what the fuck is happening? And of course, the comments are so fucking incredible. And Jordan kind of got glammed up. I feel like the whole thing is very self-centered. Oh yeah, did you see that intro? It looks like he has makeup <laughs> or a filter on. And look at this. This is the oddest, most beautiful exchange. <laughs> These two together are something I wouldn't have guessed I'd enjoy as much as I have. Uh... Wouldn't have guessed it I'd enjoy. I saw one praising <laughs> him for bringing awareness to those helmets. <laughs> 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 it's like one of the top comments. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this sycophantic bullshit. Jordan Peterson is such a comedian himself. I am sorry, but even oh, as like the really? biggest simp, there he is not funny. He's so not funny. He's very serious. He, he sucks the the joy out of anything. Totally, yeah. He really makes me smile. His ability to blend a serious topic and be playful around it is oh, simply God. remarkable. <laughs> I couldn't feel any more like opposite than that when well, I watch him. That's what it, that's what this is, this cult. You just, mm -hmm. It's crazy. About the right answer, you're more likely to be wrong with the second guess. Is yeah, that that's true. Is, yeah, yeah. I wish my fans were fucking support me like that. <laughs> I'll do like a horrible like take, like say something like horribly racist and dumb. And they'll be like, dude, he's honestly just brave for doing that. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to criticize him. He's had a long day. He's brave. Yeah, you you could have that. You just need to run a cult, you know, and like ban uh, well, anybody I need to tighten that things up. anybody that says slightly anything. You're talking to my. You're talking to me. <laughs> oh. 
is. Time to Absolutely. tighten things up here, baby. <laughs> That oh, immediate that makes response, sense. yeah, that immediate response tends to be better. Yeah, well, and it's it's, it's a weird thing, eh? Because that thing that's up, comical <laughs> inside dude, you. Dude, that's... he's giving him no space to talk. <laughs> this is his 401th episode, and this man still doesn't know how to shut the fuck up. How do people watch what this fucking drivel? Bumblebee. Horse dog. Horse dog shit. Providing you with the intuition <laughs> for the jokes. It has to be in I'm quick... Just, I'm just captivated by when he's going to let Matt talk. Timing is everything. Yeah, absolutely. It has timing to be a quick everything. relationship you, with the audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, timing is absolutely everything. You want to say the... Never heard that before. Timing is everything. Insightful. That's a really mm. insightful thing you guys hit on. The most pointed thing at exactly the right time. Yeah. Mm. And so, what do you think? Dude. Or maybe, I don't know if you've thought about it. What do you so think? So, like, he does this. He asks him a question. Matt answers in, like, five words. And then Jordan jumps in with, well, you know... That's real interesting that you say that because uh, my grandmother once put her pubes, rubbed it across my face in a dream. She had her way with me. Was exposed dimly. Um, Olivia, do you think there's a filter on Jordan or is it makeup? Just makeup. Let me see. I don't think he's got a filter. I think he he certainly has a beauty filter. And maybe even. Wait, for real? He does. There's a blur. There's like, yeah. yeah. You think so? Yeah, Where's my beauty filter? Oh, oh my God. God. Let's get you one. Wait, can we do. Wait. Can we do beauty filters? I just filter? want to see what it, it's like. Olivia is a fashion icon. Know. Can we do uh, that, Dan? Queen. I don't know what uh, not, it is. Not like quickly right now. I no, can... not right now, but I mean like hypothetically. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, we could. That'd be so awesome. <laughs> I mean, that new AI tech is crazy, dude. How it beautifies you. Your ugly ass. <laughs> <laughs> how am I supposed to sit over here when I'm looking at such beauty? All right, so let's see. Let's see how he handles uh, this question. Because, well, first of all, how broad <laughs> scale do you think this rebellion against what you said actually is? How many people do you think are behind it, and why do you think it's become Good such question. a big deal? It's probably a few dozen thousand, which sounds like a lot until you remember there's eight you billion people thousand. in the world. Yeah, yeah, but they're not. Okay, first of all, eight billion ain't watching your show, brother. Let's just chill out on that. You know, three hundred fifty million in the U.S., which is a lot. It's not 8 billion. And I would say 90% of the small majority that is upset with me doesn't go to comedy shows anyway or wouldn't vibe with me as a person anyways, which is fine. <laughs> right, That's they're the, probably yeah. not that funny. I watched a couple Here of them Here he goes. Today. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> the man started to hit a, he hit a rhythm and actually he was saying something that I was interested to hear him say. I'm trying to make a point. Uh, but let's see where Jordan goes. I'm sure this will add a lot. On YouTube. I can imagine. You know, oh my God. Yeah, I mean, they're the sort of people that you just want to. What do you want for them? Bro, what? You you are so <laughs> say it, bad. Say it, Jordan. You are say so it. fucking bad. The man was cooking. He was actually talking. And you interrupted him for this shit? I mean, I have some, em uh, some empathy because it's taken a long time for me to get better at interviewing people. There's more than a bit. And so I, I understand uh, where he's coming from, but after 400 episodes, man, you got to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, want for them, you want them to spend what is eternity this? in a hell composed what of nothing but doing? people like them talking to them. Oh, be so Twitter. Way. Yeah, yeah, for yeah sure. exactly right, that. Right, right. But that's the thing. Is it's like whether, <laughs> whether you enjoy what I do or not, you don't even have to know it exists. If I'm your problem, if you and I are face to face and you have a problem with my comedy that I tell, that I admit to the world, right? If you just remove yourself from me, if you do something as simple as just turn around, there is an entire planet behind you well, for you to go explore and live. You have a special on one of the biggest streaming platforms and it's on the homepage. I clicked on it without it was even wanting. It most popular. So, yes, a lot of people are going to see but it I mean, if listen, they want or not, and they're going to have opinions. He's not wrong also in the sense that he's not wrong. people, you know, you know, I do think people tend to get too hysterical over things they can ignore, you know. But True. I think it's also like understanding they're just expressing their opinion. About yeah, it. that's, yeah. That too. And I think yeah. everyone should be okay with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's So I'm curious about where this conversation is, like, what's the point? What's the point? I was about to say, yeah. so what's the point of the conversation? It's like Matt Reif is correctly saying, like, it's not really that many people and it, it's not really going to affect my career. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not being canceled then. Not at all, actually. Far so from what, it. So what are we doing here? We yeah. want to make drama. <laughs> well, yeah, what is this conversation about? 
this it's about uh, Jordan. It's about Jordan <laughs> masturbating yeah. for an hour. Yeah, exactly. And letting Matt talk for 13 minutes. <laughs> Let's see. For the rest the of your list. life, you don't ever have to think about me. You don't have to talk about me. I don't like screamo heavy metal music. Mm -hmm. Guess how often I think about it or talk about it? Zero mm -hmm. percent of the time. Mm -hmm. You just remove yourself from the situation. It's a little, it's not a perfect analogy. That's super unfair because he built a fan base, came out with a big project, and then it alienated the fans that he had. So mm -hmm. they are turning their backs. Right. That's I guess what's that happening. is, he is missing yeah. that aspect of it that it's like, it's yeah. not like he'd be right in the sense if it's a bunch of people that have never heard of mm -hmm. him before they saw that clip coming at him but it's not it's, it's his own fans that are pretty pissed off about it so i, I think it, it's like if i had like a ton of jewish fans and and i w was beloved by the jewish community and i do my my first stand up and i'm like y'all heard i mean that actually be funny y'all heard about the jewish car turns on a dime and picks it up got him but you know down. it might make some people uncomfortable you like that one hey you know why jews have big noses because air is free. Mm. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. I remember that one. I've heard all these many times. Yeah. Not very funny. I see no harm in trying to make people laugh as a general um, intention. Yeah, well, I also don't, yeah, well, don't, don't understand know. exactly <laughs> from, from a purely logical perspective yeah, what the people who are complaining about laugh again. as a general um, intention. Wait, wait, yeah, well, I also don't, you know. don't understand exactly from from a purely logical perspective right. what the people who are complaining exactly expect from you because right. as, and maybe it is that they a have no sense of humor or and and that's highly likely <laughs> or that they're doing something we can talk about. But which dude, is again, again you, you, Jordan, you're not listening. Everybody can have their subjective experience. They're not doing anything. That's the thing. There's no intention. They're not doing. There's no cancellation. They didn't like it. Right. And they complained about it. That's it, man. I mean, what the fuck? There's not more to figure out. We can wrap it up. <laughs> Problem solved. It's, you know. Let's see. Getting some kind of benefit from their, <coughs> from their, from their complaints. Some virtue signaling. I really oh, see course. that with the men in particular. Oh, well, I know. Oh I really God. care a lot. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Oh, ugly. yeah. I saw one TikTok video who was like, "I, I have a wife, and I found this severely disrespectful." Yeah. I was like, "Okay, you cuck. Yeah. Whatever." Whoa, dude. Yeah, yeah. What, what, do, you, what do you get out of that word? Is so, I, that word. Yikes, dude! So what ridiculous. the fuck is this guy? I hate when people use that like unironically. It's like so embarrassing. I thought oh, even like these people. Or we're embarrassed by it now. Like it's like it, it's kind of fallen out of the vernacular even of all of these right wingers. And again, the dude is allowed to have his opinion. You're like, okay, fine. He doesn't like my shit. Okay, bitch. Okay. Or play. Yeah. What do you want to get more pussy outside of your mm -hmm. wife? Like, chill out. You're already married. She already respects you. Like, oh, so you you mean that he's not doing it to get fucked? Probably if he's married, right? Because that's the only reason any man would ever have complain an about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you yeah well, I used me? to see yeah, when, well, when I know. had demonstrations <laughs> around me, which used to be more common than they are now, which is just as well. Hmm. The worst people I ever saw at those demonstrations weren't the Harridan women who were screeching like fishwives, but the men the that were hypothetically there that? to support them. Man, I tell you, I couldn't even look at some of those guys without having a shudder run up my spine. There's almost nothing worse than a man who tries to worm himself in with a group of women by pretending to be more on their side than the women actually are when their actual motivation is to use that. What was that, Gavin? Bro, what are you God. fucking going on about? I mean, man? yeah, what does this, this have to this do? This conversation wow. is so ridiculous. The fact that anybody watched this and take away that it was good, 700,000 likes or views is nuts, man. This is the rambling of a fucking unfocused, cluttered mind. And sad, the evolutionary. I'd like to hear Matt talk more. Psychologist who works at Concordia, he called that the sneaky fucker uh, <laughs> a routine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and that's actually a phrase from evolutionary biology. Is I'll really? tell you a funny story that goes along okay, with that. Right. This is tell hilarious. I got a story now. <laughs> tell him a story, George. He's such a narcissist. He thinks nobody wants. People, they want to hear me talk. Let's be real. What I have to say is a lot more interesting than this guest who's come here specifically for this interview, probably this one time only. 
let me tell you a story about my grandmother. Mm. And, and so telling. <laughs> so primatologists who studied orangutans figured out a long time ago that Bro, there are two the very fuck? male types of orangutan. Mm. Okay, so there's like this is, orangutan. He's in his fucking... He's in the bag right here. The evolutionary <laughs> biology shit. He gets to talk about his lobsters and buckets and shit. Talk about orangutan. Uh, he loves this. Tans tend to hang around in trees. They're arboreal. But the man, the males, who become dominant in a given territory, get so large, sort of like a linebacker yeah. or a football, and they have these what big fat pads around their face that are circular. They get so large they can't really go in trees anymore. <laughs> And oh, the females come to them. That's not a story. But You're... then there are other males in What's the... What's the story? I'll tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> Rambling about orangutan. <laughs> what fucking it's story, orangutan dude? Facts. Hey, do you know what a story is, Jordan? <laughs> stop. I'm typing stop. No stop. Time, no more. No stop. Dude. Vicinity for who the primatologists thought were adolescents <laughs> for a very long time because they look like adolescent males and they hang around in the trees. Uh -huh. But they turn out to be, many of them, fully mature. Oops. Oops. Sure, males whose development into the linebacker is forestalled by the fact that they're not at the top <laughs> of the pecking order. Right. And so their strategy is sneaky Talk rape. About the allegations. <laughs> right, yes. right. Seriously. <laughs> Matt is. Is Matt just as confused as I am? I right think now? he's got to be on I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, his reaction, he's huh? probably like, that was a disaster. <laughs> and then he goes to the comments and they're like, this magical energy changed. Wow. <laughs> here's, here's one. 600 likes. I'm a person with a disability and I thought Matt's apology was hilarious because he didn't pander down to cancel culture and he also raised awareness to a real website that actually sells <laughs> <Yeah. personal laughs> new Bro, Girl, you cannot <laughs> be serious. He's doing advocacy. He's raising awareness. That's amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> you cannot be serious. Right oh, now. Matt Reif is man, so brave. That's awesome. All right. Right. So it doesn't take much of an imagination. I would genu if anyone uh, uh, watching has some spare time this weekend, I would genuinely love to see a breakdown of portion talked by mm. Jordan versus Matt. You know. <laughs> Is anybody following this story? I don't even know what he's. It's not a no, story. I, it's not a story. It's just he's just talking about orangutan culture. Ape facts. Yeah, ape facts. <laughs> You're not. This isn't Joe Rogan, man. Nobody <laughs> cares. To map that onto the. You know, the feminist male who's Talk so on the side of women that, <laughs> you know, like... he gets to be the friend who can entice some poor girl into bed when she's at her on. lowest point. What? So it's almost like their own insecurity and lack of uh, manhood. Manhood probably isn't the best word to use, but it, it stunts their own evolution. Well, it, 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 right. it, 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 it yeah. requires that they take a different pathway to mating success. They the can't use dominance. Yeah, 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 right, mm -hmm. right, right. right. Uh, so it's exhausting. So why did yeah, we talk yeah, about yeah. monkeys yeah. for so three minutes? So why did you decide? <laughs> this sec <laughs> Hold on. Oh this God. section is called the two types of orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chapter. I swear to God, that's what the it's called. The pussy and the alpha. Yeah, yeah. and the cock. <laughs> right. This is awesome. Just saying. So they're moving on to a new category called Why Matt, I love these chapters, reached <laughs> out to Dr. Peterson. Oh, he Doctor. reached out. Come he on my out. podcast. I'm a huge fan. I'm pretty fan. sure he lost that title. Yeah, he's a he? huge fan. I think he's been disgraced by the board. I don't know if they were <laughs> official about it. And Matt. Oh, well, I find you, you, listen, you and I have never met. I have, I've, I, I'll be truthfully honest. I've, I've never I haven't done extensive research into everything I, you've I don't done, know but I find about you to be you. a very kind man and very well spoken and someone who stands on the morals a kind and man. the he is very the realism. Mean. Fuck yeah, fat women. <laughs> yeah. I hate fat women. He is like unnecessarily mean. Yeah. Oh god, Often. the trans stuff was just vile. Yeah. No reason. Yep. Just mean for no reason. He's a sweet man, a kind soul. <laughs> He's really nice. Mm -hmm. Let's kill all trans people. I'm a good man with a kind soul. No, I'm just of society today, and I think that is incredibly rare. <laughs> and I, God, whoops, just highly appreciate you. Oh well, thank you. I wasn't fishing for compliments, but no, I do course. appreciate that is, the that fact is that they emerged. Well, I'm curious, partly too, because well, you be like gay. You, <laughs> I think it's fair to say that your primary that fan base is. I'm going to use that. It's, so, <laughs> so, it's a funny one. One of his longest uninterrupted <laughs> monologues was just glazing up. Yeah, he's just yeah. like, well, I want to interrupt you now. <laughs> I think you're amazing. I don't know anything about you. I haven't watched any of your shit. Like <laughs> I, think I think you're cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank Love you so much. Thank you.
No homo. It's women. That, I mean, I'm not certain of that, yeah, but it, it is the case. Okay. And, and is it almost always women that you interact with in the crowd? No, not at all. It's totally, okay. total luck of the draw. Did you do what any kind research, of Jordan? Is that? Like, what the fuck? He hasn't watched the special clearly because he was referring to the crowd work in the special. But well, he hasn't watched any happen. crowd work either. And yeah, apparently, only women. He's probably watched like a thirty-second TikTok, like yeah. one before he went on live with them. Oh my God, man. The conservative media world is so easy. God, I'm so jealous sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like genuinely, golly. Whatever happens, I mean, okay. women yell out the most for sure. Like they'll heckle the most, so that will draw more uh, adamant crowd work, like that I didn't necessarily intend on doing. But overall, no, it's just is that something that's particularly characteristic of your shows? Because I would yes. think, yeah, right. Oh, it's because never not, been a comedy <laughs> okay. show. Well, I've kind of, I've so. kind of created my own crowd work monster in a way. A friend of mine mm. put this in perspective for me. If I, if I got popular from doing crowd work, which, which was a very specific strategy, a lot of com it, I only post my crowd work because I don't feel like burning through material. Comics build for You're minimum a year, big two, mistake, three man. Because I think your materi his material de genuinely needs more work. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, I just, it's not funny. <laughs> you know? Right, right. About an hour long yeah, show, yeah, right? I would feel like a total piece of shit if I, if I let you pay money to come see the exact same material you just saw for free online. So crowd work being a very unique circumstance that really isn't to be duplicated at any other show that you do because you're not going to meet the same person who's been to the same circumstance, mm -hmm. has the same mm -hmm. story to tell, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a very unique thing that you could share and it doesn't burn through any of your material at all. So that's but, why you've been making the specials on you. Again. He, he really invented comedy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well. He did. And then I like that Jordan once again interrupts to... YouTube out of crowd work. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, because you can, you can... Yeah, I haven't watched anything. I don't know what the fuck, where I am right now. So you do crowd work <laughs> on to YouTube? <laughs> Just women, right? <laughs> <laughs> You only talk to women? <laughs> Tell me about that. Again, here, Ethan, you're presenting a fabricated detail as fact. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? That's funny. I love him. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Mm. And make them permanent, and you said it doesn't interfere with the novelty of a prepared show. Yes. And so you do prepared material as well. Yeah, I have two Obviously. full specials on YouTube. Oh, my okay. God. I've only seen the crowd work. Okay. Oh, you, you, uh, oh, so he I had that? There you go. I knew it. Yeah. He doesn't even know what he was canceled for. Yes, he didn't even watch it. <gasps> That's incredible. Oh that. my god! How, how do you admit that? that? Wait, yeah. How are you gonna have a whole episode whole, about cancellation? The whole introduction about That's the guy, right. and he doesn't even know what he, he does. It. <laughs> that is crazy. But he, he's like, yo, Ooh, this specific up. moment that you got canceled for it is crazy. Anyway, I haven't seen it, but it yeah, hurt. yeah, it yeah. Be. You have no idea what, what a, happened there. What a moron. Oh my God. This is like, they're almost spitting in the audience's face how little preparation and how little You watch the red flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there I is going into this. Like, you lemmings, you fucking troglodytes. Troglodytes. You're a fucking troglodyte, you bitch cuck. <laughs> did that special because I got I was getting popular for doing red flag crowd work just on TikTok and it got so bad to the point where I'd be in the middle of working on material and people would be yelling out like do red flags or just yelling out like flip flops oh, or what like so mom was this comment imagine Jordan being your therapist and talking about himself the entire time <laughs> wait, wait that's such because as a therapist the your main job is to listen right and he doesn't have that skill no that is interesting interesting you know it reminds me of a story interesting <laughs> that you're depressed it reminds me of a story about orangutans story. if I may have you ever, what do you know about lemurs you know yeah the orangutans they go up in the trees when they're big and healthy <laughs> you know, oh, well, like yelling out their own red flags without any context at all. So I was like, fine, I'm going to do one special at the biggest red flag city there is, Miami, at the Miami Improv. And then that's like the final statement at closing the chapter on my red flag crowd work. Now I don't do it anymore. Now there's, I think the special is like 50 minutes long of me just doing full crowd work for, for 50 minutes with the people in Miami. And it was a lot of fun. I was happy to close the chapter though. But, okay, but oh, here, this is good. Did Matt did Reif, I'm looking for good chapters. Did Matt Reif betray women? That's fucking good. Mm. Or psychology of offense, toying with the forbidden. Bro, Imagine he, he didn't fuck his sister. What do you mean forbidden?
<laughs> I'm going to fuck my sister on stage. Now that's taboo. <laughs> now that's pushing the envelope, bucko. He's brave. He fucked his own sister on stage. I've never <laughs> seen that before. It was in June <laughs> this year. You know. Right. In a place where everyone's there to do that voluntarily. That's mm -hmm. part of the game. How far wow, can we Jordan's push talking. things? And then Skip to forward. get all bitchy about that and to try to cancel yeah. someone in consequence. I saw this one guy on YouTube who's complaining about you. You know, oh, he said, first of all, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe you'll recognize him. He said that, you know, you built your career um, as an ally of women. That was basically his point. Now that you've betrayed him, you've betrayed them with your jokes about domestic abuse. And so he was playing this, you know, I'm the friend of women sort of game. Yeah. He, he's violating he that contract, too. He was playing this too. bullshit game where you pretend to care about women. They're all just liars and frauds. It's awesome. It's fucking awesome. Which is that everybody's there in a comedy club to play with disaster. And, yep. and you know, you're essentially supposed to go along with that. Sometimes I just don't sometimes understand. I, I was listening to this, and I think to myself, that can't be his real voice. Like, he just talks like that all day? Yeah, I think it does. That's wild, man. That's wild. You know. Dan, how the environment isn't taken into consideration. Like, that is, the environment <laughs> is the context. Think of comedy like a store, for, like a restaurant front, right? You go in there, the food's not for you. You you can leave. You didn't have to stop in here. It's such, comedy is such a niche field. It's, it's not, your I wouldn't. It's like, know your audience. True. Right. Yeah. Because even when Jordan was like, you built your stage being an advocate for women, and he was like, yeah. <laughs> he did that. I don't know if you saw. You consider stand-up comedy a How mainstream. was he a huge, like, how does he square that with being a huge Jordan Peterson fan? Uh, is I, I don't know a lot about him. Like, what? He didn't say that. He says, I don't know shit. They both don't know shit about each other. <laughs> he said he really likes him. No, I know. Yeah. But and he reached like, out to him. No, but yeah. he's. Evidently. Okay. First of all. He, That's he PR could, shit. M Matt maybe be yeah. downplaying his knowledge. No, he literally Jordan. said, "I'll be totally honest. I'm not super familiar with your work," which yeah. means he right. he doesn't know shit about him. Yeah. Okay. Fair Dan enough. Dan is the man. They literally don't know anything about each other. By my estimate, art form. I wouldn't. It's not film. It's not television. It's not music. It's not as globally celebrated in it in every household. You know. So I think. I, I, it just blows my mind that people can't just let it be. If it's not for you, it's not for well, you. Well, I see what's happening, I think. Well, what, what, like is he, what, what is he guy... asking people not to get mad? Mm -hmm. is but he's, he's not addressing the real question. It's your audience. You, you, for some reason, apparently garnered a lot of women in your audience. Mm -hmm. And then you're pissing them off, so. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't think he's hap I don't think he wants to interact with that. First of all, Why? that's a hell of a way to put it. Because I don't think he, I think he's trying to convince himself that that's not true. I'm trying to understand, like, why he doesn't want this audience anymore. Maybe because they would admit that he's not actually funny and they just follow him for his looks. Yeah, maybe. And, like, maybe the, the demasculation of, like, <laughs> an all-female audience, he wanted... I think there's a part, a portion of that where um, if comedians, I think... First of all, women comedians already get shit on by men. Like, no, no woman mm. comedian is funny enough or good enough that she's not just being like uh, doing shtick or something. Yeah. And then, and then I think even further, people will say, "Oh, you have a female audience, so you're not that funny just because women mm. like you." So you, we, I need more men to watch mm. so I can go on right. Joe Rogan's show and be right. cool. Like, um, <laughs> show up at work and there. work harder. And he did go on Joe Rogan. And talk Fuck about all this you! Shit. Show up at work. <laughs> Chill, dude. That 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 um that criticized you in the manner that I just described. Mm -hmm. I found what he had to say and him, for that matter, contemptible. I thought it was. Pathetic. I hated him. But this is something social media does. Is bro? Okay, I'm I, I'm done. <laughs> he goes. I oh. saw a video. He was a piece of shit. Anyway, I think he was watching. You talk about it. It could have been. <laughs> I think so. Well, he, I was, I was wondering funny. that. Because he, he did say that. <laughs> he said, what did he say? He said I was trying, well, somebody, whoever he's watching was being the fake female stroking. friend. But, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. You think he's talking about me? I do. Wait, let me go back uh -huh. and I don't know, though, because the way they were phrasing it sounded like whoever <laughs> it was was reacting much harsher than you did. 
You mostly, your take was mostly that it's just a bad joke and it's hacky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's, that it's dumb to yeah. try and intentionally piss off your fan base. Yeah. Ethan is a skinny legend. Oh, thank you. That's nice to hear. Hela is a Greek goddess. Oh, that's Ian oh wow. deserves a raise. Oh, wow. That I don't know about. Zach is the best in the game. That's, oh, that's so true. Stop dissing the Nazis all the time. <laughs> wait, 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 Jordan, hold on. Oh, chill, bro. Chill. I will be there with my daughter ripping benzos in the green no, room. No, <laughs> that's fucked up. Don't say that. Come on, Jordan. You have a lot to live for, man. Don't you owe them it. like three. Let's hear this again. I want to see if there's some way to e extrapolate. It is the see context. people saying they think it was Hank Green. <laughs> oh, I want to no. see what Hank said. Oh, I think I remember. Okay, that's funny that he he thought that Hank was a, Hank was a Green. Cop. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I think Hank Green's married, but I don't remember. Think of comedy like a store for like a restaurant. It's such comedy is such a niche field. It's not. I wouldn't consider stand up comedy a mainstream art form. I wouldn't. It's not film. It's not television. It's not music. It's not as globally celebrated in it in every household. You know. So I think. I, I, it just blows my mind that people can't just let it be. If it's not for you, it's not for well, you. Well, I see what's happening, I think. Like, uh, even this guy that... that all right, here helping, it is. dude. Here it is. Well, <laughs> well you know, uh, there's this guy here. That, that, um, <coughs> that criticized you in the manner that I just described. Mm -hmm. I found what he had to say, and him for that matter, contemptible. I thought it was pathetic. But a pathetic, contemptible uh -huh. cock. <laughs> this is something social media does. Oh, so wait, it was before this where he described it. Hold on. Environment is the context. Environment. No. Would you shut up, that, Matt? I just don't understand how the no. environment is like, taken. Yeah, can you, can you no. just get me the timestamp because I can't do this live? I do want to watch that Hank Green one that apparently triggered. Do you want the timestamp of the Hank Green thing? I saw it on Twitter. Is that what you're asking for? Or TikTok. But I want to no. I want to hear him describing the hater. So I, I want to. Didn't Jordan to... say he watched it on YouTube? Let's find it. It's somewhere right here. I'll grab it. Yeah. You know, I saw it on YouTube. There was a big cucky loser. <laughs> he was pretending to care about women, but I know better. Men don't care about women. They're just fuck dolls for us superior beings. Except my grandma. She can have her way with me. <laughs> Anytime. I let her have her way. <laughs> what was that? That was me doing a oh, fairly mediocre Jordan Peterson. Yeah, I thought it was a soundbite too. <laughs> he said that, you know, you built your career um, as an ally of women. That was basically his point. Oh, now it was definitely Hank Green. Yeah, that's that's what he said. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Betrayed him, you betrayed them that with cock. your jokes about domestic abuse. And so he was playing this, you know, I'm the friend of women sort of game. Yeah. So hold on, now I gotta yeah. now we gotta watch that to see <laughs> what if his dick. characterization is <laughs> yeah. fair. Yeah. Are we sure that it was a Hank Green clip, by the way, and not just a tweet? Because I do have the tweet, <laughs> which says essentially the same thing. Yeah, that's probably it, it could then. Be. Okay. All right, here's Hank's mm -hmm. tweet. No, there was a video. I thought it was like a Twitter video. But this is essentially what he says. Right. It's a, it's, a comedian it's... ruining his relationship with a large portion. Wait. Maybe I'm mi I'm having a fake memory. Maybe it was just a tweet. Yo. <laughs> really, Ethan? Yo. Then, okay. Well, in the video, he said he saw a video, right? So yeah. that may have just implanted that yeah. thought into your head yeah. that it was a video. Yep. Anyway, he said, a comedian ruining his relationship with a large portion of his fan base because he wanted to be like all the other boring ass Netflix specials. You can't tell a joke anymore. Crowd is actually depressing. That's so a great. True. That's a great observation, to be honest. So true. Is this what he was talking about? Maybe I there think... was a video somewhere too, but uh, I'm I'm having a hard time finding it. I really think but he was the sentiments you. essentially there. You think so? We said that we were it's like, you, you make yourself an ally to women. You think Jordan's oh. a secret fan? And Jordan, Jordan, <laughs> he might hate watch. He hates you. You think yeah. he hate watches? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I know Shout we're, out, we're, we're bitter rivals. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Ethan, Hi. the boys over there, the crew. <laughs> Hold on. Abuse. And so he was playing this, you know, I'm the friend of women sort of game. Yeah. But he's That's violating that contract Being too, friends which with is women that everybody's there a in a comedy game, club bro. play with disaster. And, and you know, you're essentially supposed to go along with that. I just don't. God, I wish you would have said my name. That would have been the best. <laughs> this clown, this Israeli clown. This Israeli yeah. clown. Ethan Klein, pretending to like women. What a joke. My grandmother's pubes. 
Wow, can you blame me for not liking women? My grandmother had her way with me. Clown comedian. All right. 